Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Mercy Joe from Debbie Monero. All right, this is a brand new tangle from Debbie and just fantastic as always. All right, um, and being that it's Thursday, <laughs> Um, that means it's Tangle Time Day, so we had a ton of fun with this one uh, at our sessions today. All right, this one starts off, um, well, you know, and it depends on how you want to do it. If you want to add a stem to it, then you want to place this first one, you know, up, you know, kind of where, well, I could say where you want, where you want the base of, of this to be. You will see. All right, I'm going to, oh, okay, I'm going to go diagonal, I guess. Okay. So I'm just going to put mine right here. And it starts off with two C-shaped curve lines like that. Or as I was calling it today, a uh, stick figure bird. Um, oh, I could have dipped it a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. Oh, but no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, was like, I could I could do the second one underneath it. Well, you know what? Let's just do that. Um, the In the step outs, we're putting one above. But you know what? I'm going to do one underneath. And that's the nice thing about something that, um, you know, where you're auraing essentially something. Well, and it's a little off center, but it's all right. It's all good. Because um, you could do it either way. It's like if, if I had put it up a little too far, then I could have adjusted it that way. Okay. Ooh, and maybe, maybe I'll fill that in. Oh, I don't know. We'll see what, we'll, we'll see what I end up doing. Okay. Next is, uh, a teardrop or a flux shape like that right in the center and then spreading out to either side same idea I just I, I like to kind of tuck them in you know to those little crevices and then you could just keep growing out however you wish so I'm gonna put a couple I think I'll just do this one on either side like that and then if you want to do a second row, you can. These, you know, these can be whatever size also that you want. And I'm gonna make these ones. I'm just gonna enlarge, you know, kind of do do them like right behind. You could alter, you know, uh, have them stagger as well, up completely up to you. But then just, you know, taking it out as far as you wish. So much fun. All right, I'm gonna leave it that way. Okay, then some of these little wispy, wispy lines. And you know, oh, actually, I do it on this first row, but then like this, if I have one that's kind of exposed, even though, it, I mean, in my mind, it's like on the second row, but it's still, you know, the, the, the uh, center is exposed. So I would put those little wispy lines in there too. Again, it's a up to you kind of thing. And then if you want to create a stem, you can. Here's what I was doing is I was tra doing like the takeoff and land. So I was tracing over. Let's make it a little, a little tad wiggly. And then same thing here, but then, yeah, kind of coming off of that v a little early i like making a, a thin stem but it's up to you up to you cute yes then uh well you know so we can we can actually actually you know what? i think i'll do i i love what deb does with her step outs in also putting in you know, like some extra a number of variations because some people put like a couple variations but i always like what Deb does with hers, especially where you could do something, you know, it, it, uh, it gives us ideas. So for instance, you could just put, you know, a center, you know, as if it's, you know, a, a bud and ooh, that one, she did a line dot in it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's have this one come, have it come off of there. Well, <laughs> however it ends up going is however it ends up going. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
add some weight to this side. There we go. Just because. I, you know, I feel it needs something on the side. So I'm going to add just one, two. Oh, like that. Yes, because it's cute. You could also have it just coming right off. See if I can do it. I hadn't. I actually hadn't. Didn't try this today. You could. Oh, you know what? Let me. Let me do it on this side. You could have a little one, just coming right off. A stem. Like that. It's just so neat because it is. It's completely up to whatever you want to do, and that is what makes it so much fun. All right. Um, well, let's just because I have to put one over here. I think I'll do it the same way I did that. All right. it's just it's such a neat concept all right and then of course you can color and do whatever you wish as far as that goes um but here's i'm gonna do let's do some shading up here and i'm gonna go around this first layer of petals because i think it's so neat and Apparently I, oh no, there it is. It was hiding. It's always hiding. It has, it, it, it's a little shy, this tortillon. <laughs> Look at how neat that looks. Just add some to the tips. Because that's always nice. Oh, you know, and actually we could accentuate that, uh, those lines down there with some graphite. I'm just using what's left on the tortillon. And, hmm, I'm not sure how I want to do, except just maybe put a little, just a little bit of graphite here and there. Some drop, some shadowing-ish. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love that you can just oh, oh, scribble, scribble a little on this side, a little on that side and not worry about anything. And I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. Oh, uh, it is such a neat tangle. All right. Well, let me show you uh, some of what I did if um, on our sessions today. And just know you can come. You can have fun with us, too. These are these are free classes that I or sessions, I'd rather say. Uh, that I put on and, and you don't you never nobody knows sometimes I don't even know until just before what we're gonna do today I decided to introduce three tangles from our, our community and so you will see the other two coming in the next couple days um, but it was just a, a ton of fun on a on a prepped tile and then another one and just fun this one I just decided to do one and I, I, I'm enamored with this. It's just, well, usually when, when you know, I'm always enamored with what Deb ends up presenting because it's, they're just always so neat. There we go. My camera was angled funny. So you too can come and have fun with us. Um, again, free sessions always on Thursday, uh, my time anyway, and uh, 11 a.m., 7 p.m. It's just an hour. And it's a lot of fun. So come and join us. Uh, information on my classes are is in the um, description section. Go um, below the links to the step outs and you'll want to check those out. And uh, below that is my link tree where you will find that information. Um, and uh, places to follow me. Uh, so there's a couple links. Uh, Eventbrite Meetup. And then um, Facebook, of course. Uh, and if you happen to be on Facebook, you can, you know, follow my page and then you'll see the postings. Um, and again, you know, I never announce what we're, well, may, no, I don't announce what we're doing. Maybe once in the last three years I've announced something because it was something in particular. I don't know. Um, 
But anyway, like I said, we have a lot of fun and come and join us. Uh, and if you do happen to be on Facebook and want to, uh, join in the fun with a bunch of kind of, kind of crazy, but harmless and absolutely amazing group of tanglers, uh, we tangle addicts, uh, we'd love to have you join us. We have a, a, a private Facebook group. There are four questions to answer before, uh, to get, so that way you can gain entry to the group, uh, just so that way you're aware. And, um, but yeah, come and join us. We have a lot of fun. Let's see what else is on there. Oh, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, social media links, etc. Um, but do check out the, um, the links for the step outs, uh, especially Deb's because like I said, she always shows, uh, such neat examples on, you know, how you can, you know, variations and just ideas. Uh, it's just, it's just so fun. So, um, with that, thank you so much for watching. Oops, I got to put this one on top. Here we go. And I wish you happy tangling.